Spirits of the Epcot Center Written by Alberto M.T. Chapter 1. A New Wonder Now that the context is set, we start our story at the Wonders of Life Pavilion. At its front doors, the spirit of the Wonders of Life steps out into the light for the first time. Anatomy welcomes the warm sun onto their face and listens to the bright and happy music the area has to offer. Anatomy couldn't help but smile as they walked to the park grounds for the first time. They walked down the curved path, and to a stop they came at the entrance to their pavilion. The first thing they noticed was Spaceship Earth towering over them in the distance. It was early in the morning and the park was yet to open to guests. As Anatomy walked further out from their pavilion, a slightly taller figure approached them. It was Energy. He approached the new spirit slowly with his metal armor glowing and clanking around. He set his staff into the ground and took a good look at Anatomy. Energy. Wonders of life. Representative of human anatomy. Welcome, new sibling, to the Epcot Center family. Anatomy. Um, th thanks? Energy. What's your rhythm? Anatomy. My, uh, rhythm? Energy. Your favorite tune? What song do you like the most? Anatomy. I... I like Summer Shuffle. By Checkfield. It's part of my pavilion's loop and it's so good. It's such a happy tune. Energy. Hmm. Good choice. I have my own original song. Energy proceeded to sing his song as he walked along. Energy. Here we go. Here we go, through the universe of energy. Anatomy. That's a nice tune. Say, where are you going? Energy. Well, you gotta meet your neighbors, of course. He just stepped onto the guest plane for the first time, and I, of course, know better than anyone, and Spaceship Earth, that we were given the purpose of keeping this park's spirits alive and well. And to do that, we gotta work together and learn to love and respect one another. Anatomy. All of anything at this point. I, I love my pavilion and, and making the guests happy make me happy. Energy. Yeah, don't put it that way when you're halfway in your birthday suit. Anatomy. What? Energy. Nothing, it's just a joke. Energy and Anatomy walked past the Horizons Ride Building and over to the World of Motion Building. Anatomy looked over at the Horizons building and all. Anatomy. What's in there? Energy. That's your neighbor, Horizons. Oh, you'll love her. She's the queen at making everyone stay bright and happy. She's a cute little bundle of pure joy, I'll tell you that. We're gonna meet Motion first, though. Motion suddenly zipped out of his pavilion and over to Energy. Motion. Energy! Oh, finally! Wonders is out! Spirit formed! Welcome to the family! I'm Energy's more energetic little brother. Motion speedily shook Anatomy's hand. Anatomy. Oh, nice to meet you. Motion. You too, good brother. Motion winked at Anatomy. Anatomy. Bro, sis, I can go by either. Motion. Ooh, best of both worlds, I see. Energy. They represent human anatomy. Of course, their spirit's gonna form both genders somehow. Magic comes with many surprises. Motion. I don't know how you'd call having both genders magic. Seems more like a biological problem to me. Maybe the forming process messed up. Clearly you didn't have much say in choosing this form. Two genders at once? Do actual humans have that? Do humans do that? Energy. I don't know, and frankly I don't care. We shouldn't get into that. Come on, let's keep things wholesome and meet the rest of the game. Energy led Anatomy in Motion over to Communicore, where each of the twins walked out of their respective buildings and met up with each other in the center. Energy. This is Communicore, the center of Future World. And these are the Communicore twins, East and West. Communication, both. Pleased, Pleased to meet you, you new one. one, East. You can call me Estelle. It's my human name, West. And I call myself Weston. Energy. Since we walk on the human plane, we might encounter interactions with park guests so we sometimes have to improvise ourselves as real humans. Anatomy. I doubt I'll have any trouble with that. Energy. Yeah, you probably won't. You might need a human name just in case. 
The rest of us don't really have one because we don't really hang out around guests all that much. We stay in our plane, where we were set to stay. Motion. Since when did you talk so much? You make a really good tour guide. You need to stop being so shy. Energy. I'm not shy, I just focus on my work. And I'm perhaps a little excited that we got a new member. Wes. It's the first pavilion we've gotten since 1986. East. C was our most previous member. Anatomy. That, that's cool. Motion. You might honestly be our last one too. We have barely any space in Future World for another pavilion. Energy. Hey, it wouldn't be such a bad thing. And I think our guests are happy with what we have to offer. West. They are very happy with us. And we are grateful to share the ability to spread that happiness to our guests. Energy. Speaking of happiness, we should go check on Imagination. Make sure they didn't attempt to flip their pavilion upside down again. Motion. Oh yeah! Imagination is the park's mascot. Energy, motion, the twins, and anatomy went to the Imagination Pavilion, passing a view of World Showcase across the pond. Anatomy. What's that over there? Motion. World Showcase? We barely talk to their spirits. Energy. A lot of stereotypes. Anatomy. Oh. Motion. Ironically, Land doesn't like them very much. The five spirits kept on walking and arrived to east of the future world. Imagination sat out front of his pavilion in his figment form, speaking with land and sea. Imagination. But you know, the kid still broke the door anyway. Hey. Imagination rushed over to Energy and shook his hand. Imagination. Welcome to our family. Energy. <laughs> you got the wrong guy, figment. Imagination. A little joke for a new one. Imagination winked at anatomy and shook their hand. Emotion. Oh, ha <laughs> ha Okay, that was funny. Imagination. Meet my side mates, land and sea. Anatomy. Side mates? Energy. These three make up East Future World. Land. So this one is it. Last addition to our family. Sea. Oh, I'd never. How rude, land. They have every right to be here as much as any other spirit who joins us. Land. What? I'm just wandering. They said wonders of life would be the last big pavilion. Anatomy. Well, I don't know anything about that. East. Maybe Earth knows something. Anatomy. Earth? The planet? Motion. No, goofball. Our golf ball. Anatomy. Golf? West. The big spear in the middle future world. That's a fellow attraction and pavilion. He's the icon of the park. Spaceship Earth. We call him Essie. Anatomy. Oh, that's cool. Imagination. Go introduce wonders to him. He'd love to meet you. Land. Wait till they meet the little one. Energy. I'll take anatomy. The rest of you can stay or go back to your pavilions if you'd like. Motion. Oh, nah, I want to see this. Come on, West Pals forever. Let's go. Motion led energy and anatomy around Communicore and to the entrance of Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth stood at the entrance ramp and came down to greet anatomy. Earth. Oh, goody. Look who we have here. Welcome to our family. Spaceship Earth struggled with his overweight figure to get down the ramp and rushed over to give anatomy a hug. Earth. Good to see a new spirit well formed. Taking the human form suited you the most. Anatomy. I guess it made the most sense for me to take the human form. If anyone should have it, I wouldn't be anything without it. Although, perhaps it got a little modified for me. Motion. They got both a P energy. Anatomy here comes from the best of both worlds. Earth. Both worlds. Huh. None of us have every feature a human body possesses. Motion. Yeah, I don't even have those round thingies that... Energy, you remember that one guy, right? Took off his shirt and jumped into the fountain? He had, uh, what do you call him? Anatomy. Nipples? Motion. Yes, those. You are so fascinating. Anatomy. I'm well, not that special. Earth. Hmm. Hey, why don't we quick conversation about each other's appearances and... Wonders of life. Have you met 
Horizons? Energy. No. They have not met Horizons at all. Earth walked up to Anatomy and put his hand on their shoulder. Earth. You go to her and you greet sweet little Horizons, okay? Anatomy. Well, will she kill me if I don't? Motion. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Horizons. She, uh, Earth. Well, she's kind of overwhelming. Anatomy. How so? Motion. You clearly got a meter for yourself. These guys don't know her at all, do you? Earth. Look, uh, here's the thing. Horizons is, uh, she's really sweet and she's really kind, but. Motion. There are no buts to Horizons. Energy. Oh my goodness. She's the most powerful spirit in the entire park. She represents us all, and she's the true heart of the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. She is quite literally tomorrow's child. You never want to wish a bad future around her. Earth. She won't let anyone think about a bad future. Energy. That's what I said. She's all about motion. She challenges us to help our guests think that they can make a change. Earth. Come on, you gotta go meet her. We're all just joking with you. She'll brighten you right up and make your day. Anatomy. She sounds just really optimistic. Energy. I'll take you to her. Let's go. Energy, motion, and anatomy walk back to their side of future world and stand in front of the Horizons ride building. Energy. There she is. Anatomy. Is her spirit the building? I don't see her. Motion. No, just that's where she is. Go on inside. Anatomy. You guys coming with me? Energy. No, I gotta prepare for the park's opening. Anatomy. Should I be nervous? Motion. No, be happy, excited. You are stepping into your new horizons. Motion zipped in front of Anatomy before they walked through the front entrance of the building. Motion. Don't listen to what everyone else says about her, okay? Anatomy. Okay. Motion. You will love her like a sweet and happy little sister. Don't be intimidated. Respect her and she will respect you back. Anatomy. Okay. Motion. You shake her hand. You say hello. Be yourself. Anatomy. Hey, Motion, was it? I have greeted everyone else here, okay? I, I think I can handle this one. Motion. a boy. Girl. Both. Anatomy. Atta man. Motion. That. Anatomy turned and walked through the sliding doors, coming face to face with a wall that held the phrase, If you can dream it, you can do it. Anatomy continued on and stopped at the future port sign at the beginning of the queue. There she stood, her hair resembling the colors and shape of the ride building, her suit as well mocking its design. She turned around and looked at Anatomy. Horizons resembled a little girl. She was the smallest of the pavilions. She had a bright and happy face with a sweet smile to charm anyone. As soon as she saw Anatomy, she walked over to them and began to float upwards to meet eye level. Horizons. Hello. They finally sent you to tomorrow, huh? I'm really happy to have you be a part of our family. Welcome to Horizons. Anatomy stood staring at Horizons, flustered by her sweet greeting and amazed at her power to lift off the ground. Anatomy. I... I, uh... Hi, Horizons. I just met everyone else, and I haven't learned a thing about their attractions. I was hoping you can tell me what yours is about. Horizons. There's time to let you ride. Come on. Horizons guided Anatomy down the queue and toward the ride vehicles. Horizons. Everything in my ride is an achievable idea that could lead to a safe, bright, and happy future for all of mankind. It is a guide to tell people how we can live our best lives through innovation, communication, help us improve transportation, and our use of energy. Help us unlock the secrets to improving our own anatomy. With our imagination, we can improve our relationship with the sea, the land, and space. All here on the spaceship we call Earth. Horizons took Anatomy's hand and sat them down on a ride vehicle. Anatomy. Whoa, so do you like 
predict the future? Horizons. Oh, no, no. I don't predict the future. And my right doesn't either. It shows us what can be, not what will be. It's supposed to show the achievable future. Horizons is here to let people think about how mankind can choose their future. It can be bad, but it can also be good. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We can't stop it from being both. It will be bad, but it also will be good. And that's all we know. Anatomy. <laughs> no one told me how philosophical you were. Horizons giggled and snorted at Anatomy's comment. Horizons. It's not philosophy. It's positivity. Anatomy. No, there's definitely some real wisdom showing through. Once I was formed, I couldn't help but feel like my pavilion was not going to be popular. And it's only been open for so long. I don't know how to really maintain it. I only know how to sit and watch. Horizons. I can teach you to manage your pavilion. Earth taught me how to manage my ride. And I taught everyone else how to manage theirs. It's easy. You gotta enter your spirit space and look over your pavilion. Horizons took Anatomy's hand in hers and they both became transparent, phasing through the ride vehicles, phasing through the ceiling, transferring from the human realm to the spirit realm. Horizons' spirit space was like those of other pavilions. It was a large dark dome with a small transparent model of the whole ride in the center. Horizons. I'm sure you already know what a spirit space is. This is what we're born into. We start off as a spark. We see our riders and we decide to just want to laugh with them, cry with them, and we become them. Anatomy. What made you take the form of a little girl? Horizons brought her hands up and lit up the transparent model of the ride so it could be seen better. Everything in the attraction was viewable. The scenes, the ride vehicles, even the backstage areas were all part of a small holographic schematic. Horizons. I actually... I took the form from someone who saw the future in a way I didn't see in anyone else. The same values. The same... Okay, philosophy. Her positivity. Her love for what could be, it made me. And because of her, tomorrow's child was born. That's what they call me, because I am a guide. A key to what the future could be. From up here, I inspire others to dream it and do it. Anatomy. All I did was stare at humans learning about themselves, and I guess something about that told me it's what I should be. Horizons. See, you have access to your whole ride and every aspect of it. You have to put in love and care for how you want your attraction to affect guests. You need to make them feel excited and happy to be there. Anatomy. So, blatant manipulation. Horizons. It's magic, not mind control. You have to make sure the speed of your ride flows smoothly. Make sure the animatronic characters are moving okay and that they connect to your audience. The audio is comfortable to guests. When your guests are in awe, you bring your hand in. Horizons brought her hand into the transparent model and tapped on the Nova seat part of the ride. Horizons. And you tap it to light the scene and bring attention to its details, to what the audio speaks, to what the characters are doing to what the whole scene is about. You have to captivate the guests. That's bringing in the spirit. That's the Disney magic. That's the Epcot magic. Anatomy. Oh, okay. Horizons. If you step away for an hour or so, the ride will be fine. And the guests can manage on their own. But if you slip away and you aren't around to tend to your attraction, it can break down. I won't have your magic to keep it going. The ride vehicles will stop, the characters will malfunction, and the guests, they like breakdowns, but they won't hold on to a positive opinion about your ride. Anatomy. My pavilion is nothing like this. I have exhibits, a show theater, a motion simulator ride. Wonders of life is far more complicated than your pavilion. There's a lot going on. Horizons, I can come take a look with you. If you need help, I'm here. 
Horizon dipped her hands into the model and lit up the whole ride, keeping it steady in spirit and good luck. Horizons, come on, let's go see it. Back in the human realm, Horizons and Anatomy walk out of the Horizons building and make their way over to the Wonders of Life Pavilion. Horizons, you might not get a lot of guests. Not every day is vacation for humans. They need to work, and the kids need to go to school. But don't let that intimidate you. It doesn't mean that they don't like your pavilion. Anatomy, what kind of time is it now? Horizons, oh, I don't know. We don't pay attention. Horizons, everything's gonna be okay. Once you know how to manage your pavilion, you'll bring good attention to it and more life to the whole park. Anatomy, the whole park? The two spirits walked into the Wonders of Life pavilion and phased away into Anatomy's spirit space. Horizons took a good look around, learning the layout of the pavilion and how it would be controlled. Horizons, wow, you have a lot here to work with. Anatomy, yeah, it's not much though. The only big things it has is body wars and cranium command. Nothing else really that special. Horizons, no, no, look, you have so many cool things here. Goofy about health, wonder cycles, sensory fun house. You even have a theater to teach humans how they're made. Human parents always dislike explaining that to their kids. Anatomy. You don't think it's weird? Horizons. Frontiers of medicine? Pure and simple? What's your sponsor? Anatomy. MetLife? Horizons. Neat. Let's look at your big attractions. You have a motion simulator and an animatronic show theater. Anatomy. Yeah, with a little pilot buzzy. Horizons. Open cranium command. Anatomy dipped their hand into the model of their pavilion and tapped into cranium command. Horizons watched the show play with pure amazement. The two spirits watched the show together as the park opened and guests began to pour in. Horizons. Cranium command resembles exactly what we do up here. We have to be our own pilot buzzy. Anatomy. That's meta. Pretty sure I'm piloted by Buzzy himself. Horizons, listen, you'll make mistakes and you will not be perfect. And that's okay. Guests only expect the best from each pavilion. So do your best because that's all anyone can really ask for. Horizons put her hand on Anatomy's back. Anatomy, I think I understand. In the transparent model of the pavilion, Anatomy spotted a little boy walking up to the Wonder Cycles, wondering what it would do and if he was even big enough to ride it. Anatomy dipped their hand in and tapped on the Wonder Cycles, lighting it up and captivating the guest. The boy got the courage to try out the Wonder Cycle and hopped on to try it. Anatomy, ha, look, it worked. That boy is loving the Wonder Cycles. Horizons, see, there you go. I have so much faith in you. You are our new wonder. Horizons hugged Anatomy lovingly. Horizons, welcome to the family. End of chapter one.